Earlier in a presentation, I said that corporations can essentially sell securities to the financial market in a way of bonds or shares to raise cash to actually finance uh, their operations or to finance a huge capital project. Now, of course, I also said that they could buy different investments from the financial marketplace in the form of shares or bonds also. And we're going to be looking at the different marketplaces in which we can get these products from. So there are two different markets uh, within the financial market and they actually are the money markets and the capital markets and they do make up the financial markets as one market and you'll see the difference between these two. They each have uh, separate products with separate maturities and they have different attributes in each of these markets. Just remember that these two markets are both together within the financial markets which we'll see in a second. So let's start off with money markets and money markets only carry debt and they only carry debt that has a maturity of less than one year. So different kind of products uh, that you might see within money markets are like treasury bills and treasury bills uh, are carried within Canada, they're also carried within the US and they're sold at a discount basis so they might be sold at like something like um, a 99.5% uh, of face value and the face value is usually a hundred dollars for a treasury bill. So treasury bills are government debt that of course you can buy and invest in in case that you need to kind of park cash. So this is kind of for parking cash in a risk free kind of asset and you can get a very very small amount of interest since you can purchase these uh, for one month or three months or six months and uh, there, there are longer maturities but of course remember that money markets are for less than one year maturities and another type of product is commercial paper. You might not have heard this one. A commercial paper, what this is, is that uh, our corporation, we can actually, we can actually sell some notes to, to uh, investors if our debt is really high uh, rated and we can sell this commercial paper for a small amount of interest and we'll essentially have to uh, return any amounts that we've borrowed plus the interest. So it's kind of like a treasury bill except that uh, we're offering the, the debt or another corporation is offering the debt. So commercial paper has to always do with corporations and of course the, the length of time can go anywhere from 1 to 364 days because it always has to be less than one year. And the one of the last ones, this isn't all of them, of course, but I'm just listing three main ones, is a certificate of deposit, usually called a CD. And a CD can be obtained uh, from your bank or your financial institution, where you can get them in different lengths, which are also in the form of like a month or three months or six months and they have uh, a small amount of interest usually greater than treasury bills and commercial paper so uh, certificates of deposits are one of the, the better paying interest uh, money market instruments so these are all debt remember that money market contains all debt and now the capital markets are made up of debt but they're also made up of equity which are shares so the thing is though the debt on the capital markets is one year plus so anything that is less than one year maturity belongs in the money markets capital markets only contains one year plus uh, maturity or length of period of owning debt for one year plus so the type of instruments we can kind of see within these are our shares of course shares of corporations we can either issue shares or we can purchase shares from other corporations uh, we have we have bonds so we can issue bonds corporate bonds from ourselves. Uh, we can also purchase bonds as investments if we want to invest 
some of our, our cash uh, within different types of entities. Maybe we want to invest in another corporation. You can get other corporate bonds. Uh, you can get municipal bonds. You can get provincial or, or state bonds if you're in the U.S. You can also uh, get federal bonds. And of course, remember that these are all for uh, lengths of period that you're holding them for one year uh, plus because, of course, capital markets, it is a longer period or a longer holding period than the money markets. And, and you can also have preferred, preferred bonds within the capital markets. So, uh, preferred bonds essentially give you preference to interest uh, before or they, they contain certain rights like cumulative rights or participating rights uh, before common shareholders which we'll talk about uh, in another tutorial probably but these are some of the instruments you'll find in the capital market so always remember that the capital markets and the money markets are both within the financial markets so let's see some examples of what we could do uh, with these these different investments. Well, some things we can do are that we can let's say uh, the corporation maybe has maybe has one million dollars and we need that within one month. So what we can do is we can invest that within the money market and we can purchase a one month T bill. If we want something that is very low risk and very um, that, that we're going to get our money back uh, very soon so that we keep our money liquid and able to pay off any short-term obligations or if we need the one million dollars in one month for a capital project it'll be freed up because T-bills will always receive our money back with a little bit of interest so that's that's for us investing of course we can also do something like, for example, if we need some money, what we can do is we can we can issue some commercial paper. So commercial paper is issued by our corporation, and we can receive cash in return. Uh, commercial paper is unsecured debt because we have such a high credit rating. And we'll receive cash and we'll just have to pay them back a small amount of interest in a very short amount of time. Like I said, it can be any, anywhere between 1 and 364 days. Uh, so that's commercial paper. So those are different things we can do within the money markets. We can either purchase T-bills. We can sell commercial paper uh, for cash if we needed uh, cash for operating operating uh, expenses or maybe for a short-term capital project that we needed money for really quickly and for capital markets well what we can see in capital markets is that is that we could have we could have uh, cash coming into our corporation because maybe we need to finance a capital project like I've said before or and then of course uh, we'd be issuing them new shares. So maybe we need maybe we need 25 million dollars, and we would have to issue I don't know if our if our shares are trading at one dollar each, then we'd have to issue 25 million shares uh, to the public, of course, and that would raise the cash. Or we can do something else like. We can purchase, we can purchase maybe uh, bonds in the in the capital markets that are long term. So let's say our corporation wants to invest in bonds. So what we would do is we would spend I don't know anywhere maybe like we have twenty million dollars and we'll invest this in corporate bonds to receive interest in the long term because we have nothing to do with our cash, for instance, and of course will receive a certain number of bonds plus that fixed amount 
of interest payable uh, maybe semi-annually or annually uh, it all depends on what the coupon actually says so those are different types of investments we can have and different uh, situations that can be brought on by using the capital markets or the money markets just always remember that there are different products that we can purchase uh, within the capital markets and the money markets and always remember money markets less than one year capital markets greater than one year and they include equity rather than just debt in money markets so um, we'll be talking about actually primary markets and secondary markets in the next tutorial i'll see you guys then thanks for watching i'm sure you guys have questions regarding the counting topics or our videos so make sure to tweet us at hashtag iNinjaNotes, like us on facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped and like always thanks for watching us on youtube